I've still got no idea what, what, what game number this is, but hello everybody, welcome to Tentalica. Um, 180 TV up against Orcs, Bit Babby's first team. He's level 13, so maybe it is his first team. He has won more than he's lost. He's got a level 3 stadium. Absolute madman. Oh my god, he's got all the guard in the world. Six guard. But he's only got 11 players. He's got an agility 4 blitzer with dodge sure hands. And very nice. Throwers can fuck off when you get players like this. Um, a plus strength pommer. Wow. And then two of the mighty blown loads of guard. I mean, this is a really good team, isn't it? It Very really TV. Is. That's a well, de well developed uh, Black Hawk line. Yeah. Two positional blitzers that are doing amazing things. By God, everyone. That is the ball carry is absolutely fantastic. It's flawless. Yeah. That's what yeah. you want in every Orc blitzer on, 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 on A10. And then you yeah. get the strength pom. Godlike. Absolutely godlike. Lack in tackle, though. I think the third blitzer should have got tackle instead of Mighty Blow. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But, the of the pommel, then, but his record isn't very level. good, which is which is surprising, isn't it? And he's only level thirteen, mm -hmm. so maybe maybe he moved from um from you know Chaos Edition. Um, but why but is his guess, record for this team rubbish then? I don't know, but then I my team looks pretty decent, as well, doesn't it? To be fair, three guard um, and obviously Claw Pom to crack him, so. Dirty player to whittle him down a little bit, but he will have a wizard, which is scary. Um, yeah, with no bench though, the pom blitzers will work and just win you the game, hopefully. I think I might get, I don't know, I know, I've got 13 players, I don't really want to babe, but do I want to babe? Yeah. Oh, uh, Red Joker's here. He must have uh, must been watching the Pro Tips Guide. Ah. Got such a good off team. Yeah, you, hello the Red Joker. Have you been watching the Pro Tips to get such a good Orc team? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the stadium. The thing on there. Yeah. Oh. First team. He's in chat. Yeah, the team. Thank you, Pedro Jack. Yeah, the team is starting to look decent. The only thing is... The only thing is, is the record is there's too many draws and losses, isn't there? It's um, the the team's finally got good, but it's to the point where I could, you know, win win quite a few in a row now potentially. But um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very good team. The, the the only good thing is eleven players, isn't it? And I've got I've got the dirty player and I've got the claw palm. So if I get the if I win the coin toss and get to whittle them down. Um, maybe it'll be okay, but yes, yeah, that is a that is a very nice team, very TV efficient, but it, that's the problem, isn't it? If is if the problem with orcs is if you go down, well, he's won the toss. If you go down, men, it starts to get hard, doesn't it? And with only eleven players, it'll be interesting. Hello, Jelly. Hello, everybody. Um, um, yes. So, hello, everybody. I can't. I'm gonna do the not talking thing, and um, yes. Be careful what you say, Fashbinder. Yeah, don't give him such i don't give him ideas. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, so yes, I'm off now. Oh man, pressure's on. But no, no truly, it is a flawless build. I, you, there's just nothing you would change other than having a two peon bench. And when I said peon, I mean awful. I mean, uh, they're dirt cheap, and yeah, look. If I was if I had this orc team, the only way I'd be losing is by being down men chaos or and any elf because you've got no tackle. Um, so yeah, would would have definitely taken in tackle instead of mighty blow on the right hand side blitzer. Definitely will want to get and that would have been because you got strength up as the first level up on one blitzer, so the strength up becomes pom frenzy, and so the other guy becomes tackle, and then maybe even wrestle lineman. There's a high TV bash, like the lizard coach that we just saw, had enough guard to bang down a Black Orc line. Jim's got enough guard to bang down the Black Orc line. And so, unless you're farming low TV teams, uh, the peons with Wrestle should be on the LOS. And even then, maybe not even Wrestle, you're not really too concerned with the AV9 or uh, Taken Blocks. But they are beautiful black orcs. Perfectly leveled.
What are you drinking? <laughs> no. Uh, is it tasty? It is tasty water. Well, it doesn't have a taste, mate. Really? What oh, in in the string? Huh. You should also move to TeamSpeak. I've noticed in some of the videos you end up on some words. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. Not distracting. When I'm telling you you're doing something wrong, do you get cancelled and want to pipe up and correct me? <laughs> good. Oh, baby. It was, though. Some of those plays like yesterday were just spot on. All right, good kick for Jim. Uh, huge commitment for the Blackhawks on the line that I don't really think uh, needed to be there. Uh, I guess the peon on the left is just for the Pom Blitz on the left most guard guys, otherwise not really a Blitz. Uh, the follow here from the Blackhawk probably should have stayed because uh, you want to be able to make chain blocks along the LOS. Uh, so had he stayed, the leftmost puts a number, uh, black orc number eight, could have locked the rotter into a, another, another block. Yeah, look, winning the toss in a bash matchup is pretty important. That's weird, the chat went down for me briefly. So look, a full LLS box made without protecting the ball. Uh, not a huge deal, as the Warriors aren't really getting there to interact, and the, however the ball carrier needs to make a Geopie to get there. If he wants to pick it up this turn. If he doesn't pick it up this turn, Jingle will pressure on four next turn. Not risking the Geopie. Hmm. Doesn't really need to. Yeah, good enough turn. LOS blocks were made. Uh, they got the success and they got the Kaz, so being up one. Being up one for your offensive drive as a bash team, usually pretty good. 
think Jim will just look to disengage here. Uh, he's only engaged with the fellows on the left. Uh, has applied guard. Um, won't be able to get the four strength pom up. But could get the uh, the guard fella and then block down the four strength pom up. Or block down the peon. Oh, crafty Jim. <laughs> Maneuver to block on the four strength pom up. Gets it too. And the good news here is that it's protected for the most part, so we'll be able to pile on. Never lucky. This is the advantage of guard on the blip that they'll still be able to interact and assist the peon. Maybe one dive, uh, the number 14 lineman, one dive for a push on Jim's mighty blow. Uh, guard opens up a. A two assist foul. Assuming then the blitz comes on the guard warrior, make it a three assist foul after the black hawk pounds the number eleven rod of it. So look, the the foul is still on, but an eleven man orc team probably doesn't want a foul. But at the same time, the the scariest thing for the eleven man orc team is the pommer. So it's a uh, you know risk first reward sort of circumstance. I'd probably do it. I uh, probably wouldn't do it if I was playing, playing Jimmy Fantastic. I'd absolutely do it. Yeah, look, you can win games with Orcs, uh, with any team, just on 6338 linemen. Having four strength Black Orcs. Makes that a lot easier. Uh, it's just a solid bash game. You know, we're solid progress down the field. You have the full complement of 11 men. You're faster than dwarves or more resilient than bash, other bash games. Uh, but yeah, weak to Qualcomm. The Blitzers, you've got four of them. They're not super slow. I mean, they're not, they're not super fast either. But better than dwarf. They're kind of like humans. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know if chat can hear you. Can they hear you? Oh, okay. I, I won't say anything. Uh, I'm gonna. I mean, when when someone's watching you and they've got a team, uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to give give too much away. Oh, very good. Uh, Jim was just talking shit about dropping clangers. Said he didn't like dropping clangers. Which dropping clangers would uh, change his color. Doesn't like the color orange. That's pretty brutal. Pretty standard. Oh man, Agi forward is such a godly blitzer. Not looking safe so far though. And by making this right side push, he's committing a lot of orcs to the right hand side. Uh, to make it safe, and that has him lose out on the left side, where his full strength palm is. And so Jim will probably just, probably just screen on the right and bash on the left. I mean, this is the thing with orcs too, you want to make your push whenever you can, really, kind of like dwarves. Not so much for, you know, chaos and noble, it's still kind of a noble. 
and you bear yeah, well, it means yeah yeah you don't want to go ham early but at the same time it's important to get those squares uh break some without mighty blow safe to pile on gets the result and look here there's a bunch of people around uh uh, rephrase, the fourth strength Poma is uh, on the ground next to a dirty player. Unfortunately, to make the foul, you'd want to stand up the uh, two other people, and you've got a three assist foul. Could commit extra men to make it four assists. Four assists on AV9. 50% uh, of the time gets the result, and then you can move the frenzy back to a relevant position. And someone on the sideline with Frenzy on the sideline also uh, poses a question. Like, for example, the two linemen on the right wouldn't be able to stand there if the Frenzy was a little more relevant. Now, similarly, the both players, coaches with 10 on the field. My items. Nah, it'll be worth it. Full strength bomb for a dirty player, Rodder. I'd, I'd, I'd take that risk. Oh man, this is a run up for sure. It's a run up. Gets to me every time. Oh, never lucky. I guess the warrior just takes it. So the good control on the right side, no holes in the middle. Frenzy guy will probably be free. I mean, could get tagged. Uh, if, you know, the first Black Hawk powers the guard that's in base contact, the second Black Hawk blitzes the Frenzy guy, third Black Hawk tags Best for Gore, Peon tags Potato Happens. Could, it could be a thing. That's the other thing too. All coach could be saying, right, I don't mind losing this bash wall if I can keep the Pommer on the ground. And my Agi4 uh, Blodge has no one that can do with Blodge, maybe outside of the Frenzy. Oh man, random Kaz. Maybe non Black Ops just, just going down, not even regenerating. Getting banged on. Three random. Uh, I mean, the mighty blade. That is fairly obscene. Yeah, that'll be a huge swing for the drive. And so it looks like a fairly, you know, good position for Jim in that. The drive was likely to be stalled. The sideline was going to be boxed in. Right, left-hand side of the field was controlled. And now that's completely turned around. Rather than being able to exert pressure, uh, she'll be struggling to stop this touchdown. Whereas, just before this turn started, it was looking like the potential for a turnover, as the Blackhawks were pinned, or not pinned, but, you know, uh, fairly engaged on the right. And there was no way for the ball carrier to go to the left. But, you know, two, two guys ends that. Well, the good thing is, if I lose this game, I will not need to put any more blood ball for the next couple of days. <laughs> well, I mean, if, if you do those, we can do more tutorial. The NAF style thing. Yeah, I do like the idea of the NAF style tutorial thing. Yeah, really good idea, that. With Every time I see Ducky in chat, he, he asks for that one minute tournament. He's so keen. Yeah, yeah, we've got to get that tournament going. Definitely. And do just other do other tutorials like, you know, someone's saying he'd like a he'd like a video that just explains how blocks and assists work and stuff. And and setups. People ask for setups a lot. So I'm I do need to do a series. It's just hard when I want to play the ladder and stream and stuff as well, isn't it? It's hard fitting everything in. 
Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean, very good entertaining, you know, playing the game, pointing out those setups over time. You'll encapsulate, you know, I'm going to use this setup this time, or, you know, if you're playing Skaven, I'll do, a, you know, the V, flying V formation thing to, rather than the, you know, full line at the back. Yeah. yeah. Point that out over time. Tough, isn't it? He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? He's still got his pom bits to come. Mm. I guess he's thinking whether to hit the dirty player or the uh, noble warrior. Holy smokes. Thank God. <laughs> right. It's a bit shit that he's frenzy now, isn't it? No. Baby. Get banged on. I might as well just fucking concede this game. No. <laughs> None of that. Oh my god. <sighs> do you reckon maybe it was worth. No, I can't take a red die. No, I didn't want to do a red die. Maybe it was worth it. But then I was going into two mighty blow tackle zones. I really didn't want to do that. I mean, if I got the pow there, then I get the blitz into two D, and then foul with two assists. The pow there was so good. Well, just a push. Yeah, like, was. Frenzy was a mega nega trait there. If I could have just pushed him, then I could have got the two dice, with the claw palm. But not being able to push with the frenzy guy was really bad. Frenzy being pretty negative. This game has been ridiculous, hasn't it? Really, well, realistically. Just three AV breaks into three deaths. So the, but the pommer hasn't done anything, so at least that's something. But the other blocks... Are yeah, but yours is only got one KO. Yeah. I mean, other options could have been just to cement the string a little further. I mean, you're definitely trying to make up on blitz, or on blitz every time. And you'd feel really bad if you didn't every time. Yeah. Yeah, it's the but only chance I've got to win this game. Best for goal the, I've, I've the lost this drive. This, this drive yeah. is undefendable now. So all I can do is attrition him for the second half. He's got 11 players. Um... I've got claw palm, so all I can do is try to attrition him for the second half. It's a good rationale. Yeah, that's what I think anyway. Yeah. Hello, Morbid Orbits. Hello, everybody. I can speak now because I'm already, I'm already oh. not try harding anymore. <laughs> I'm giving up on the half. I'm not, right. I'm, I am going to turn myself off and I'm going to try my yeah, hardest. You should. You should not even talk to me. Yeah. And think about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're friends. Either. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't outrageously bad, but maybe it just wasn't worth the risk. So, open now with the dominant position wants to have every Nurgle on the ground and uh, also keep the ball safe. Jim's got his plan. I think it was just a mixed next game or a uh, or a no injury. Yeah. It's crazy having nine breaks. And it's heartbreaking. Uh, so for example, this is what happened to my you know, Chaos Team season one. Just random Kaz every single game, well not every single game, but there were a lot of games that of the games that I did lose. That were two random guys from ridiculous shit. 
and it's really disheartening that you spend all the TV in getting, you know, pop on Mighty Blow people to get those removals, and for it to happen on random blocks, you know, so numerously and so early on in a in a drive, it's absolutely catastrophic. It's like my Nurgle that lost to, who had his first loss of Season 2 champ ladder. Uh, happened to a Norse that didn't take any Taz for 13 turns, while I took 3 or 4 in the first, you know, 6. So you're like, getting the first removal is really, really a big deal. And if you're remaining 4 turns, Jim's is just going to get banged on, really. The or coach position as well. Uh, second half is 3 man bench. 2 man bench will, uh, Mitigate two of the cows. Wow. I'm failing the one in nine to put the boot in. Esfigal potentially in trouble. And the worst part in this format, when you need to win every single game, even though somehow or coach has a middling record. Um, Jim needs to win every single game. Well, yes, yeah, win every single game. And at this stage, the best case scenario is really looking like a a draw. Uh, let's pretend. Well, so we don't even need to pretend the Orcs likely to score this drive. Um, that means Jim will have to play for a draw, and I don't think as I don't think he's able to score, and then turn over the Orcs who have a wizard. Unless every foul for the remaining four turns succeeds for a Kaz, like, well, and every mighty blow call hit gets a removal, unless those criteria are met and Jim doesn't win this game. That's pretty much it. There's no amount of art playing that can be done. Or maybe, you know, the Orc quads. This is where a bunch of guard on a orc team does one because Jim will struggle to make a two last block. Yeah, for the Pomer at least. I guess a dirty player could 1D for a push. If the guard in frenzy stands up. And then stays to get a two die on the black hole. It's just gross from there. And it's not the lock guard line that's worrying, it's the three cas by turn four. That <laughs> that will win you a bash matchup.
often say 1D for a push. That 1D would have been a push. No bad. Yes, yeah, so look, it was really the only play Jim had, and he made us. Forest um, how disappointing. And yeah, look, could have set up the guard guy, but the peon lineman would just assist it. Black Hawk makes a two die. And ball carrier is still screened by a uh, lineman. And look, tackle or frenzy isn't really so getting to the ball carrier. And we've seen that the very few yeah. free box blocks that have been on offer. You from tree Happy New Year's, Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Harry. Cool. Next level. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm, I'm just realizing I'm muted for fashion. Yeah, absolutely. But Jim won it and he's got claw palm. So. Being the person that receives and having claw palm is likely to get your removals, whereas your AV9 guy, single mighty blow. Yep. Hello, Fashbinder. Just to say thank you oh, very hello. much. Thank you very much, Harry Koo donated 20 English pounds. Something to distract you from tryharding. Happy New Year's, Jimmy. Happy New Year's to you, Harry Koo. Thank you very, very much. Um, that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. 20 pounds or what? 20 English pounds, English pounds, pounds sterling. Tree oh, harding, yeah, it's sterling. a tree oh, harding. <laughs> um, pretty amazing. Um, yeah, this this game's done, isn't it? All I'm trying to do is, well, okay, the game isn't done, the half's done. I'm just yeah. trying to um, just trying to make set it up for the second half. If I get... I mean, if I get men up, when I'm not at the moment. I mean, chances are he come, he's got a babe, so chances are he's coming back. Um, I've got 10 Hopefully max. Hopefully not, though. Yeah, and, exactly, down a man. Yeah, so I mean, if Indoor I get wizard. a couple of cars, a couple of cars from Mashfagors, maybe, and then receive the double LOS hits. I mean, that's, that's the thing, I'm getting double LOS hits. So, you know, maybe he starts second half with 8 against 10, and then... Oh, that would be godlike. If you, if you could... <laughs> if you could be up eight against ten, holy shit! Yeah, we'd that'd be in for a chance. Then they'd be but in for a chance. Yeah, really and, at the moment. yeah. Of course, it's really unlikely, but there's a chance. There's, so I'm not giving up. You know, people who say I tilt or I give up or whatever, I don't. You know, I'm I'm in with a shot. I know I'm in with a shot if things work out right. But as Fash said, because I did have him on, there's no amount of outplaying I can do now. Right? It's just down mm -hmm. three men like this. It's and that's the danger of Bash. You know, when you get these matches, Bash against Bash, he's got all this guard. I'm not getting the removals. And, um, you know, if I was elves, I could do some outplaying maybe. I could run around, I could roll some dice. But you just can't do it with, with, with bash teams, which is the weakness, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, bash teams lose when they go down men to random balls. Elves team lose when they do a 1-36 with the ball. Yeah. And against other elf teams. So, I mean, there's, you catch one all around. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute myself <laughs> again. Back to concentrating? Yeah. And <laughs> I good that Harry Coo. Yeah, look, a couple of options here, TBH. It seemed odd positioning from the orcs. They've got all the men in the world. And, oh my god. Oh wait. That's a <laughs> it's a mighty blow uh mighty blow warrior. Look at that, Jim giving back what was dealt out. That's nice to see. <laughs> For some reason I thought it was a black orc hitting a warrior that didn't have mighty blow. I guess that makes up for well it doesn't really, as the damage has been done, because it's three turns ago that it happened and that lost the drive but there is an option now in that pressure could be put onto the ball so it'll be interesting to see if the status quo has now changed with that block 
as Gaga can stand up, Frenzy Guy can do things, uh, tag the ball. You know, Poma could become relevant. Not really stopping Blodge. Red Joker scores on turn seven. He's not too bothered. His gym scoring at two is still tough. Jim only has the one reroll. But it could be something to consider to play for the ball. Uh, or you could just stick with the current plan of Pom Blitzen. Going for the ball will give you the best shot at winning the game. This drive is really how Noble need to win. Or need, that's what they need to do to win. Ultimately, just being up five men, that would be it. Five men, and I think you can turn over a guy with a... Yeah, look, tag and blodge with Frenzy on turn seven. Not really worth it. Whereas taking out the Pomo increases as well, is more likely for you to not be down men in the second. Or down further men. So it's uh, worthwhile focusing it. Hey, look, a draw would be shitty. I don't know if a draw's the end of the world for Jim. Ducky for Aurora in a good position, Black Hawk tied up, it'll just be uh, the peons and the ball carrier. Nowhere the orc can go, that can't be met with a double GFI by... Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. I'll wait till after the orc turn. And best of go not managing a dodge. But I do like there's at least a little pressure on the ball. Might entice a turn seven score. And then, you know, getting the option to score in two, pretty good. Yeah, it is a shame that the Poms only did get KOs. Certainly there's a lineman that's been old. A bit odd to blitz and follow. Oh, he's on the ground. Fair enough. Not risking it. That's probably wise. I don't think he would have been able to get the ball safe. I mean, maybe could have if uh, Nessus came to blitz. Test uh, Ducky for goal, and then the other lineman screened it off. Because the Noble Warrior wasn't dodging out, so that probably could have stalled. But giving Jim an option to equalize, it's uh, really fortunate. Uh, both KOs waking up for the Orcs. Not super unlikely with uh, the single babe that he had. So second half, uh, numbers will be even. Hey, Grendel.
Um, so they turned out the rule of five set up the door. I think there'll just be a, a blitz on the corner Black Orc and a semi screen two receiving threats and maybe even the LS block. Times like this, you'd really want a touchback or even more than one reels picking up the ball. And best of all, being a uh, downfield receiver, he's a lot harder and he'll be a lot easier to break through. But just short hands is too hard to say no to. Oh my god! Oh my god, pouring rain on deep. So, the inevitable catch that will have to happen now. Is going to be a shitty four plus, and even the pickup is a shitty four plus. It's disgusting. Yeah, absolutely. If I could hear Jim right now, he'd be swearing. Sound a little something like this. Fuck off, you cocksucker! Jesus fucking Christ! KO is okay. Third KO from the Pommer. I guess this is the disadvantage to the three Pestigal build. It's the janky two turn score and then having the one receiver. It'll have to be a rotter. A rotter going on the right hand side. A bit rubbish as the Black Hawk on the right is tagging it. And even just being tagged would be enough to mess things up, I think. Rotter will need at least a GFI. Picked up the ball, that's pretty nice. It'll be the double GFI next time you get a fall. It's happening. Never lucky. Yeah, it's the worst part. With only one reroll, you really wanted to save it for the throw and the catch. But at the same time, the throw and the catch doesn't exist if you only got the one scoring threat in the Frenzy color. Because you know it's getting uh, blocked down. And so if you didn't reroll that GFI, the Pestigals on the ground. Really unfortunate. Maybe would have even not had the number right flank uh, there on the right flank. I thought it wasn't really doing anything else. GFIs. Once you get good at Blood Bowl, you never make GFIs ever again. Yeah, that's true, my tiny life. But even you don't really want to do the handoff because it's a full blossom without a reroll. You better off just risking it for the longer pass. It's a bit weird to move the closest guy to assist. I think the furthest guy could have stood where that guard or blitzer is, and the guard or blitzer then goes and uh, gets in front of the one potential receiver. When doing stuff like this, yeah, always move the furthest guy, not otherwise doing anything. I think the black hole could have been the assist.
And then when you make it a full strength blitz, you don't actually need the assist. And because the assist that didn't need to be brought in was brought in, I don't think you say, oh, never mind, it's movement nothing. But it's still GFIs, or a GFI at least. Um, not sure if through coincidence or strategy, but uh, with the position of the Orc Blitzers, they would usually be a pretty good chain. But the guard that's going to come along, or the guard that came along, uh, will ruin that. Um, block on the LOS could free up a warrior to get an assist. That would only have... Uh, well, it'd be a double GFI to get the one dice chain. Well, no, the rod could assist. It'd be a double GFI to get the chain. Uh, and it would be... a one dice. And, yeah, look, yeah, even then, it's still, it's still just a... a there's, there's nothing great. But, I mean, it sounds like this, you could look for the absolute optimal play. Fair enough. The absolute optimal play just so unlikely in the rain that you better just roll a bunch of dice. That's fair enough. Wasn't even the cool type of an accurate pass that leads to a completion. Yeah. So, Even that's still a five plus catch in the rain after a so, five plus pass. So ten versus nine isn't actually that bad, is it? That was a pretty good infill in that KO roll. And he's down two yeah, black absolutely. orcs. And I'm down a warrior. So um, You think you can turn him over if you score early? Maybe, maybe. I but, mean if I make some cards with this claw pump, if the claw pump, don't tell me. If the claw pump finally starts working <laughs> and got a mighty blow as well and dirty it's not for enough, mate. Don't reveal your plans. <laughs> There's a chance, there's a chance, but um, it's obviously going to be, I'm going to have to score in about four, aren't I? Yes. And um, the rain's probably not going to help, but never mind. <laughs> right, I'll have to get back to thinking. I don't know if you guys hear Jim or not, but he revealed a plan. He was uh, very upbeat and optimistic. Like a uh, professional sports player interviewed at half time, you know, down on the scoreboard. The Seattle Chieftains. In that in that match. Was it, were they Seattle? Seahawks, that's it. 
Were they the Seahawks? I don't know. I one I once one time I saw an American football interview where uh, where they interviewed a guy at halftime and he gave a really clearly correct, upbeat, domestic answer. I think it was the team that in one of the Super Bowls uh, only needed to run forward one metre to score and instead threw a pass. Even I, as only having seen a NFL match, you know, <laughs> uh, highlights of the Super Bowl. Yeah, and they also had the best guy for running one yard in the entire league as well. <laughs> so, like, that's the craziest thing. They had the number If you could pick one guy to run one yard, that is the guy you would pick. And so that was their rationale was that because it's so obviously the best play, they'll never expect them to do the shit play. <laughs> oh, my God. And, um, but obviously it didn't really work out for them. Right. Anyway, I, I better, better think, better think. <laughs> Oh man, Jim just like the uh, Washington Chiefs and the Minnesota Timberwolves. I remember when the Minnesota Chiefs and the Washington Timberwolves played against each other in a good old fashioned game of hopscotch. Gets an extra reroll. Opportunities for uh, aggressive plays, perhaps. Team looking a little trim down too. Imagine if claw palm removal rates uh, happened as their percentage on exactly every block, so that every uh, third block from the pommer was a removal or something like that. The game becomes a lot easier. Here's the other thing, should thing about the format. Yeah, I think I said it yesterday. Different coaches having different criteria when they get into a match. It's absolutely rubbish. So I'm pretty sure Red Joker here is happy with the draw. Whereas Jim would be fairly disappointed with the draw, but tolerating it due to the circumstances of the match. So might be forced into make playing worse Blood Bowl as a result, in terms of on paper, you know, making less optimal plays to get that win. Which I always hate doing. Hope he's not thinking about a foul. Up two men. And you know those K's will be back if you look to score. Definitely don't want to risk it. And certainly not on a uh, unscored lineman. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Scoring early, if he was playing for one, we, we don't know. Nobody knows. But if he wants to look to score early and then get a turnover, and the KOs will do wake up on a 3 plus, it might be pretty tough. Uh, while playing into a wizard.
I mean, a, uh, a draw wouldn't be uh, too hard to achieve. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, though, Carlo Ancelotti, is that you can look at it and say, right, uh, yeah, it is 75% on that fourth loss. And when you say 75%, it sounds like a really good number. But when you think of it as a fourth loss, you're like, wow, I can barely make a two plus successfully. And I guess the real disaster is then that it's a action involving the ball, and actions involving the ball being turnovers that end the term. Uh, it's even more bad. Think of it more as a 25% to have your turn abruptly end. Uh, we'd like to see some more orcs on the ground, so rotating to. Oh, nice! Three double orcs. Love that shit. Dirty player to get it out of the way, gun how to come up prop. Get that palm. And at this point, you can sort of just say, look, best for goals is a terror on his own. If there are a bunch of orcs on the ground and then there's water standing there with a number advantage. Not not strictly manzing, but if you could have the ball contest be, you know, uh, a Pestigor and a Warrior against the two Tweeping Blitzers wouldn't be terrible. Ah, hello VIP 989. Yeah, they do Dynamo Dose, they absolutely do. And it, it's risky to play for the win. Look at this, blocking in a manner that allows a push to still be a two dice. Oh, thank God. Only a stun. Would have been a KO if the initial armor roll was uh, better than a six. Oh no, that was definitely being piled on for sure. Seems an odd blitz. Oh man, that block there, they got a stun. If it was a claw pummel, it would have been a Kaz.
And to be honest, as the old coach, I wouldn't be hitting AV9s, I'd be hitting AV8s. And even on most teams, to be honest, if I, if I didn't have claw, AV8 targets would be the one. Just, just being bodies up. Doesn't matter their skills. Bodies. Bodies are what matters for fun. Skills for fouls. Yeah, absolutely, Carla. No. Oh, hello, VIP Scaramaza. Humans are a lot like orcs. Just instead of the four strength uh, black orc as a Yuashi type, you've got an eight move catcher. Your throw is superior to the orc thrower. And your blitzes are better. Wow, more stuns. But it's a stun on the ball carrier, and I think that was an Blitz. Uh, by a blitzing the pseudo ball carry for the orcs, they are not bolting and recovering with edgy four, short hands, blodge. And so that will make any sort of recovery uh, pretty rubbish. Wisely saving reroll, so I think it should be obvious what it's uh, to score and turn over a wizard. Holding all team for the win. Orcs could even just let it happen, knowing that they've got the ball coming back to them. Um, yeah, no, look, normally I think a player would, would bolt for sure. But a Red Joker knows that Jim's playing to win. And if Jim's playing to win, he's scoring next turn. And so your opponent's scoring next turn, and you've got the ball back. With a with a uh, bit of lodge and a ton of guard. And agility four. So yeah, I don't think he needed the wizard. Uh, maybe, maybe the wizard, the AG4 blitzer, wasn't stunned. Yep, it's definitely done more work than, work than the claw palm, that's for sure. Best for goal laughs at this uh, base contact. Even with a dodge from the Blitzer, a crazy dodge from the Blitzer, he still laughs at it.
Yeah, the 15 second decision thing, right? That's pretty crazy when you really think about it. I'd love to see the Tandama Storm tick. Because I, I really think that I could make my turns last eight minutes <laughs> if I really wanted to. Uh, it'd probably be a. Probably a human team would do it best. Uh, you'd have the stand firm on the strength access people. You'd have sidestep on the uh, agility access people. And there's some other reason that's eluding me right now. Oh, humans with the pilot access. So you could do it offensively and defensively. You could even look to chain your own guys so you can take a further 15 seconds to sidestep. Hey, Vistal. I uh, saw you in one of the episodes in the last season of South Park. I thought your character was pretty good. It, it came as a surprise. I don't want to spoil it. Hot plus. Did you work closely with the uh, the guys behind South Park? Can't remember his name. Like Zach or something. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about it, Omadon. No doubt about it. When, however, I'm definitely holding back on things as to <laughs> not help out Oxmans. Fair enough. Did you sing the song yourself, or did they get a voice actor to sing the song? But the list is pretty cool that South Park introduced uh, the world to Danish people. I mean, I, I, I didn't know aside from Vistal and Stonewolf and Kagorn, I think. Uh, I didn't know people lived in Denmark. I thought it was all just, you know, ice and forest. Oh, and that one dude that married that Australian girl. So there you go. I know uh, four Danish people. It's now like it's not nice that now the rest of the world gets to uh, see Danish culture in a realistic depiction. Much better than when the Simpsons went to, uh, to Australia. Oh, baby. Yeah, so look, poor little Oxy's just making LOS blocks and then the four strength pomblets and not doing too much else. Would not be surprised to see Best for Gore. Oh, never mind. I will wait two minutes and 45 seconds or more to uh, tell you what. Now, nah, he actually prefers the weather because he has to turn over and, in, and endure a wizard. And that'll go a lot better for anyone to pick up the ball and it not be on a four plus.
Good one, Black Hole not waking up. Uh, LK is not so bad. Uh, so Jim down three, Orc down two. Good. Oh, there, and still anything. <gasps> re rolls a foul appearance. Down to one re roll, turn 12. Absolute madman. Oh my god. Disgusting. It's times like that you really wish you had an upper. Apokeos. Yeah, that's the huge the thing. Drive. That's a, that's a huge thing why people say regen's better. Well, not in these kinds of games, is it? Um, yeah, I mean you would use it already on the warrior there. No, oh, yeah, okay, I guess so. But that was missed next game, so maybe not. But maybe. But, uh, yeah. Um, and look, it was a random cast too. There wasn't for so many random cast, but let's, let's ignore the random cast that existed. If you had an apo and you could have used it on that. Yeah. Radically game changer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, this is the kind of games I lose, isn't it? You know, <laughs> like yeah. the like the dwarves that made made twelve armor breaks into eight cas and three KOs. Um, you know, that's this is the kind of games that you just lose, don't you? There's, no, there's not a lot you can do about it. Being this many, you know, Inarian's team with five players in the pitch could just fucking two plus leap, hit the ball, you know, <laughs> pick yeah, it up, absolutely. run around, do stuff. Um, Two plus three plus three plus two plus or something, even if it's in the tackle zone, and yeah. you know, be out. Yeah, and and if you get if you get these kind of dice, it's pretty it's pretty fucking brutal. Yeah, I mean, if if not for those two KOs, I think you know it, it was an even chance. But now with those two KOs into the wizard, no. not looking likely. No. I mean, but still, you're going to make the play, you get best for goal somewhere relevant, and, uh, or play for the draw. Are you content with the draw? I'll tell you what. Don't don't say anything. Concentrate. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm clearly not content with the draw, because I wouldn't have done, wouldn't have made that fucking touchdown if I was content with the draw, would I? Yeah, but I mean, now that, now that you've done it, and the two removals happened, yeah, I guess, yeah, now I like, guess it changed. The success rate on AV9, like, holy shit. Yeah, it's been outrageous. And my, my, the ineffectiveness of my claw bomber. Yeah, the amount of times you've hit his full strength bomber and done nothing. Sickens me. Alright, there we go. Yay. There we go. Too late, though. Yeah, 10 probably. Yeah. Yeah, probably too late. If that had happened the first time I hit him on turn one. <laughs> exactly. Um... Maybe it'd be okay. I'm just gonna try crazy dice rolls, I think. Yeah. Because I guess standing him up takes up an action. Ties up a man as opposed to just being on the ground. Yeah. A bit too late. Sad to say, but from this point on, it might not even be worth part. Just having the guy standing will probably be useful. The, the time for Pom might be over. I had to Pom there. I had to Pom there just from the pure pixel hugging aspect, though, didn't I? If I didn't pile on, True. he just blitzes, be the best Fagors or mash Fagors and um, kills them, guaranteed. Um, was not and still reversing. And deals a little bit. Maybe he's got a cheeky canoring threat. This rotter can be a cheeky canoring threat. <laughs> but yeah, it's asking a lot now, obviously. Whatever happens. Yeah. Appearance there would have been really nice, just quietly.
Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, teams like Dwarves, who are very slow, yeah, Chaos, and even the Nurgle to some extent, don't feel as bad. Um, because you're faster than them, you're not making too much effort to get past them if, you know, you've made a hole in their line or I'm going to somehow or just rotated. In this instance, the Orcs are the faster team, in that, for the most part, I mean, the Warriors are equal in MA. Uh, but just having an extra two six move guys lets you rotate a lot more. So Jim only having three uh, six Well, I and mean, I guess even, even in that regard. I don't know, if you're just looking at the Pestigors, uh, Mashvigors on the ground and Vestigors far and away, they're going to really struggle to, to be relevant to this ball carrier. I might have even dodged that frenzy. Just blocking him down does nothing. Mash rolls, not really doing too much next turn. Whereas having the frenzy down, uh, screening in front of, you know, best for goal might be it might have been alright. The claw palmer tied him up. And at this point, yeah, the claw palmer looks. I don't forgot I had the extra reroll. Having someone open to hit that carry. I forgot I had the reroll there, Fash. Yep, I should have just dodged him away. Yeah. Who cares if Mash Fagors gets killed right now? Yeah, I absolutely yeah. should have just dodged him away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Frenzy's pretty huge to get in the way there. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bad bad block. Very bad block. I was thinking of, of freeing up Mash Fagors next turn, you know, from like being able to block him next turn and Mash Fagors coming in to get a tackle block, but he's you can just get out of range of him. And Frenzy's yeah. nearly as good as tackle anyway, so yeah, it's pretty bad. Wow, that wasn't the blitz I was expecting. I thought it'd be on the uh, on the rotten to free up the guard. The guard then goes somewhere useful. Ball carrier progresses, and that's only best for all that hits him.
Oh my god. Wow. The luckiest one dice you'll ever see. Oh, Scully's absolutely burned. Loses the ball. So, this the warrior applies guard to the ball carrier. And the guard fella. And then the rotter blocks the guard fella for a power. And then Nash Rigors bangs the ball carrier for two dice. I, I don't see anything else. And yeah, a really odd position for the ball carrier. And yeah, look really risky one die block. Actually, the guard pillar in the way will will block the squares, so that's, that's not the play. Uh, maybe just guard assists. No, oh, you need the guard there to cancel. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, diagonal. Oh, baby. Yeah, so that that was better getting the... Well... Yeah, no, my, my guard idea wasn't one. Although I guess the guard could have done the same thing the Rotter did. Ah... Uh, I think Jim might have had plans for what happens after he gets the ball carrier down and a guard comes in to fist on a, well, at least to type some Black Orcs, maybe. I mean, it's uh, technically it's a double GFI for the Warrior Tag, but double GFI is terrible. A guard come in to get the two dice on a guard Black Orc. And I guess... I guess best of all, we'll think about some dodges. Hmm. Uh, no, I liked getting the block on the guard black orc uh, that's tagging mash for gores. So it's having. Well, forcing the blitz on. on mash for gores to clear the tackle zone would have been pretty nice. Whereas now he's blocked away on a push. And still the wizard to think about, too. <laughs> Should, shouldn't have said it. Shh. It was it was two GFIs to get the assist in order to do the guard guy. It was pretty difficult, wasn't it? For the guard warrior? Yeah. Because he was screening oh. with this guy, so it was just... It was no, I mean, uh, if the guard warrior went to the one square north of where Best for Roy is... He couldn't. Because it was screened. Really? It was screened, yeah, by this blitz of the hit instead. Uh, so, yeah, if I could have just gone uh, in, I would have uh, But I would have had to run around the back, two GFIs. With Avenues, uh, my reward, and all the rest. Must be tripping balls. 
Oh, you're right. All right, my bad. Yeah. Saying dumb things. Yeah, if I could have just got in, I would have done. But... Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> lucky, lucky you're not listening to me. <laughs> Exactly, Jam Dose. It's the worst thing to have coaches not playing under the same criteria. Um, well, no, it's that Jim could have played for the draw and easily stalled out the previous drive, but because Jim wanted to win, he scored earlier. Whereas if the tables were turned, I don't think the same could be said about most call opponents. Oh man, oh man, makes this GFI, it's uh, a two dots on the ball. A little rod of it could. Oh baby, what a champion. Reasonable scatter, one blitzer in a scoring position. Oh, it is it is one diceable. Oh, I wonder if this one D would be worth it. Ah, oh, you'd be dodging duck if you forgot out to tag. Yeah, absolutely. Oh baby. Oh baby, baby. I agree, Tiger Tantrum. I absolutely agree. I could, I didn't want to point it out at the time. Um but well I, I think I did point it out where the position where the blitzer went. It was not the right one.
Oh man, I wish I could. Uh... <clears throat> wish I could point out the play here. That was not the play. Holy shit. One dice getting the power to clear it. Unbelievable. This is a no reroll state. So, no, it's absolutely bringing the Blitzer down uh, to make two die blocks to clear the warrior out of the way. Peon cancels. Nothing. But, yeah, pretty straightforward now. Good guy. Oh man. <laughs> Got oh, his name already. Man. Good oh, guy, no. oh no. Oh no. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Um Oh man. Wow. <laughs> oh no. I've turned into the sage. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. I thought you should check. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That is. Oh man, can I say it now? The, the play then was the, the dodge with dodge into a handoff. GFI handoff in a no real state. Wouldn't have made a one dice though. Holy smokes. Yeah. With the open guard fella. Would have made it two for sure. And it would have the. Uh, there was a chain somewhere too to get the guy off the guy that could have dodged. Yeah, there would still be new still hand off in in um in disturbing presence though, wouldn't he? Yeah. Um. So there was at least a shot, at least having them around there. So yeah, there you go. That's um, well, GG. Um. But oh man, yeah, exactly. Red Joker, you made that team, Jim. Tell me how to play. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you very much, Red Joker. But I was not expecting that, and um. Well, yeah, that's, oh, man, to be fair, I mean, that could have been a draw. That could have been a draw. It wasn't like Sage had actually lost when, when, the, when his opponent conceded. This could have been a draw. There was still, there was still, there was still rolls to be made. There was still like, a, okay, a two plus with dodge, a two plus pickup with sure hands. Then there'd have been like, I think a GF, GFI, one GFI into a five plus handoff. Yep. So there would have been... There's a decent chance of it being a a draw. Um and a draw is still pretty bad for me, yeah. Um Oh man. Well I don't know I don't know what to say. Ox did not have the win, Armadon, at all. They need a five plus catch without a reroll. So absolutely they did absolutely not have the win. It was a five plus handoff. It was a five plus. I can't with the squares. Oh, did he kill the disturbing presence? Just to... Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it was in two. Agility. Fucking <laughs> agility dirty player. Um, maybe maybe he'll go wrestle. Yeah, wrestle. I like wrestle. the edge guy too. Edge guy could have thrown it maybe. To a guy already in the end zone. Oh, yeah. No, that would be yeah. still, wouldn't it? Are you sure there was only one dirty play? We didn't have it then, did he? I don't know how you can think two, 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 four <laughs> means that he's definitely yeah. scored. But um, I've, it was in two. Yeah, bleeding hippie says it was in two. I thought it was in two. Um, definitely at least two. He definitely didn't have it. I mean, he definitely didn't have it guaranteed, did he? Sage's Sage's concession was he had definitely lost. This was definitely not a win. Um, but that's different from definitely not being a definitely being a loss, is it? I mean, it was definitely a draw at best for me. Um, but man, that was brutal. Yeah, it's. Um... Oh, oh, I, I didn't know you made a red joke. I I didn't I didn't say much. I was intentionally holding back as to. Uh, yeah. As to not help you. But there was a couple <laughs> of things that I pointed out post post play, such as they were really just nitpicks. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I know it's a huge difference. I know Calanchelo, you know. I know I'm not. And this is actually playing for something, whereas... But, I mean, I'm not going to boast about winning this game. Whereas Sage boasted about his record being top scaving team over and over and over again. I'm not going to boast about this win. I'm going to be ashamed of it. Um... Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna claim to be the best Nurgle, but yeah, um, it's not. It's not great, is it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plays is all I've got. Ten players. Yeah. I could buy two extra arms. <laughs> extra arms. Yeah, I'm gonna go two heads. I'm gonna go two heads. Clearly. Um. Yeah, I'll, 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 asterisk, I'll asterisk it myself, Carlo Ancelotti. If I qualify with this Nurgle team... Look, and to be fair, right, I've I've drawn games where I won in 81, lost games where they where they made 11 removals and 12 armor breaks. So I've had some ridiculous bad bad luck. But um, they, Cyanide can't disqualify me, can they? I mean, there was no collusion. I didn't make him concede. I didn't beg him to concede like Lupak begged somebody to concede. Um, I, was, I was absolutely shocked at his conceding. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though, isn't it, Lupak? He did literally do it. It's, it was on stream. People who were oh, there yeah. knew, you know, he literally begged for a concession in the World Cup as well. Um, I oh, didn't. Baby. I just, I just played for the win, you know, and um, and then didn't didn't do it. So I don't know whether it got twelve players. I guess I should. Twelve players is worth. Might as well. Just so you're not buying for next match. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking. You know, there's nothing I can do, is there? I mean, yeah, there's that, nothing. It's I not can unheard do. of. The guy, there was a guy in the World Cup that lost a game and uh, or won a game, and they got his opponent that he beat and knocked out of the World Cup to concede to him, not even through collusion, just through the guy being nice. Yeah, happens all the time. There you go. So um, yeah, I didn't ask it. Yeah, this is a fabricated competition for nothing. Yeah, true. True. Yeah. So <laughs> I well played with the Orcs. <laughs> oh, I, I think true. I've got to. I think I've got to take two heads. I wish I'd rolled the eleven. Imagine if I'd rolled the eleven on best fag. Oh, holy shit! That would have the been red joke this and I. Yeah, it wasn't Fun collusion. Into each other. Red Jerk and Sinai roughly appeared in chat typing at the same time. <laughs> I'm thinking Red Jerk with Sinai. Uses your exact build for orcs. <laughs> no. Red Jerk and no, Sinai, same There was definitely 100% no collusion. Um, and I, I, there's no way I can get it. And look, I, I, I don't want it. I'm going to carry on playing for the next few days. And if I, if I get top in fucking, you know, speech marks... Fucking what's it called? If I get top Nurgle, if I qualify, I qualify I don't I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on. It um it is it is a bit lame obviously, um but you know I don't know, it is what it is. I'm gonna carry on. Yeah. Yeah, look, yeah, there there are some differences. Um there's a huge difference between asking for it versus not asking Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm I'm not going to brag. I'm not going to brag about this record as well. I will I will I will I will maintain the asterisk on the record. It was it would have been a draw or a loss guaranteed. There was no way I could have won that game. I could just take frenzy or tackle and no, I've got to take two heads, don't I? There's there's no other choice but two heads. That that two plus dodge even yeah. without a reroll. It, you know, it it gives me a chance, doesn't it, that I'm I wouldn't have without it. Tackle would be really good though. But three plus dodge is so horrible for him, isn't it? It's so horrible. Whereas being able to make a two heads dodge is, even without dodge, is going to be relevant sometimes. So yeah, I got to go two heads. Um, yeah, yeah, I am really, I am, I am really, um, yeah, yeah. Look, you know, and and there was there was there were, in the World Cup, which was for real money. There was Burned, who was just fucking everything up for everybody. There was. Um, there was and and look at look at the guy the game before you, you know the game before that was that was um, that was ridiculous wasn't it? He conceded turn one, so like there's all sorts of bullshit that happens. There, there was the dwarf team that won fucking seven nil or something ridiculous six nil um, in the World Cup. So 
I I do feel I do feel bad about this, but what 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 can I do? I'm not going to not take it, am I? When when my whole plan was to try to qualify in two days, I'm not. You don't have a choice to not take it. Yeah, you, I don't... you say hey, you're forced to. Yeah, yeah, I I literally don't have a choice but to accept that. Um, so yeah, look, what can what can I do? But I I will I will definitely I will definitely heavily emphasize the asterisk in this game, and I will I will not say that I qualified on merit, and um, you know th this this should this is 19 wins. Maybe seven draws, maybe three losses. We'll never know. Um, so there you go. I could roll. I could get a dice roller on on stream, couldn't I, and see if he would have made the rolls. No, oh, baby. <laughs> like that could be it, and then we'd know what the actual dice roll. But uh, I don't know. Could have done it from the winnings, maybe. One in chat. If you want him to do it. But I mean, chances are we we can see. We can actually see. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.